They did that top part, all the light color they did last summer. Isn't that fun? Oh, oh my god. That's gorgeous. Yeah. The beekeeper thinks he's probably between 20 and 30 pounds of honey. It's a great like thickness to be able to see the sides. It is. It's, it's, to me, it's like a sandy ocean bottom. Yeah. yeah it which is just, <laughs> like that. at some point, if that's how a beehive was formed or if that was caused by the space they're in. But if you put your hand on the glass, like in that lower corner, you feel a difference in temperature. It'll be warm with the most bees or you'll feel the warmth. And then as you move away, it cools down. It's a lot of activity down there. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's, uh, so as I said, we, the, um, the, the, what the winning design team came up with is it's going to be a 22 foot high tower, and a five foot diameter. And the exterior of it, they, they did a tubular framework, but Rick has rigidized metals, which a lot of, uses a lot of stainless and they emboss it. They're using a small pattern, but those are going to be in the shapes of your individual honeycombs. And then they took, they had a program, and based on where it would be sighted, they, in the south and the west during the wintertime, you have triangular perforations in these panels, and you have few during the summer. So it, it's, aside from having that honeycomb, it's also going to have perforations going to change. The location of them is permanent, but it's, they're based on how the sun tracks through the year. So it'll be sort of a neat thing. And then inside, the beehive's made out of cypress, and it'll be on like a little bit of an elevator shaft. So you'll be able to go in and the glass will be slanted to be able to look at it. But then for the beekeeper, he'll be able to lower it down the ground height and do what he has to do with it. It's great to talk. Yeah. 